Hey everybody, Thrift Store Hacker back again, uh, dabbling at the workbench here on a Saturday night. Uh, working on the underwater camera rig a little bit more. Uh, I mocked up a uh, template here, and, well, I drew a template and then uh, mocked up a gasket, which uh, I used bicycle tubes so there's seams in it. This isn't going to work out for the real deal, but it gives me a good idea of what to build. I need to build two seals. I'm going to build them out of, you know, full pieces of rubber so there's no gaps in the corners. Uh, with my template here, too, I'm going to have a piece of plastic that's one inch thick made with this template. So it'll be inch thick, and this will be our centerpiece for the camera rig. Uh, to bolt everything down, I got this really neat, uh, it was like a 460 piece nut and bolt assortment at Harbor Freight and I'm using the M6 bolts out of it, the 50 millimeter M6 bolts and I'll be putting the small M6 washer and these bigger washers that I got at the hardware store like that if I can get my camera to focus there we go and that should uh, spread out the surface area of the pressure of the bolt onto that washer and then spread it out even more. And then on the other ends, I'll be using a slight, like these ends, I'll be using a slightly bigger washer just to stretch out the surface area and whatnot. But that's what I got so far. We just got to make that centerpiece and I'll cut some gaskets and we'll be ready to go out and test this. Uh, another thing I'm going to address is uh, when I go down to deeper depths with the other rig, I'm still going to need to build lights. So I'm going to build some lights that externally mount off the side. That way, if I have any problems with the the lighting, it won't or like a seal breaking in the lights and them filling with water, it won't affect the phone. And likewise with the the phone again versus the lights, if the phone gets water in it. I don't want the lights to be damaged as well. So if we can isolate them and make them smaller packages, it'll also help with the uh, pressure at depth too. But that's all I have right now. Uh, I just wanted to kind of drop in. Um, funding for the channel has been horrifically low. Uh, YouTube ad, ad revenue algorithms have just about basically, uh, basically completely screwed almost all YouTube users right now. But, you know... That's their deal. I'm not looking to make a, a small fortune off of this. But if you do want to fund my trip, fund my channel, you can go to gofundme.com forward slash CA ebike trip and uh, throw my channel a couple of bucks. Uh, I also have an advertisement uh, kind of special on it right now since uh, I've only gotten one donation so far on GoFundMe. Uh, the first five people to donate at any dollar amount that uh, I think the minimum that GoFundMe allows is like 25 bucks or 10 bucks or something like that. But donating that amount when uh, it will give you a small advertisement sign that I'm going to put on the very back of the bike trailer. So if you have anything that you want to put right on the back of the bike trailer and everybody to see during my trip as I uh, go down the road, because I'm not taking the back ones off. The first five people are going to be the... Uh, the ones that get the sweet advertising for super cheap because I just want to get the ball rolling. Um, I'm going to carry them for the whole duration of the trip. Uh, you can put just about anything you want on the sign. Just kind of, you know, keep it tasteful. Don't get me shot. I mean, come on, people. Um, I'm all for fun and games, but, you know, like, don't get me in trouble anywhere. Um, yeah, that's about it for uh, the Saturday edition of Thrift Store Hacker. Not a whole lot going on, but uh, we'll get more going on. The bike trailer build is uh, in full swing. I just need to edit the video, and I'll probably put that out in the next couple of days. But until next time, build stuff and have fun.